Bruce, I want to congratulate oh, you on your you. first day at Spectrum. And uh, here we are now, day two. Uh, we finished up uh, grand opening evening. We had our first full day on Thursday and now Friday evening. Maybe you can give us an idea. Um, uh, I know there's lots of questions from uh, people regarding the Michelangelo collection. Give us, if you could, just a very quick synopsis of Old Town Gallery and then talk to us about how the Michelangelo collection ended up here at Spectrum uh, this year. Well, Old Town Galleries in Park City, Utah were famous for the Sunbands Festival. And uh, I arranged for the uh, Michelangelo Museum in Florence to publish their terracottas uh, for a fundraising. They uh, have a little museum there in Florence, but uh, no security system or air conditioning. So I convinced them if they could uh, have molds made off their pieces, they could have a fundraising to sell the bronzes to uh, bring their museum up to standards. So I was the publisher of the bronzes, and I combined with Old Town Gallery into marketing them. And tell me, um, uh, when we when we go back in time to when this all began, give us the 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 uh, timeline of the inception of all of this. Well, it was started three years ago. It took us three years to negotiate the contracts with the uh, Florence uh, Museum and the Florence government. I see. You know, these are national treasures. Needless to say, Michelangelo's original clay sculptures. I know that that people who are hearing this are going to wonder when we talk about clay sculptures what is the actual size of the sculptures and how then do, do the bronzes translate to that uh, to that size they're the exact same size as the clay sculptures the molds were made from the clays so they're actually to the millimeter and and uh, how many in, in total, in the collection, how many clay sculptures were actually created, or I should say retained uh, today? How many of them are intact today? Uh, there's just six different subjects in existence today, and there is 12 bronze made off of each one of them. And so there's six, as I understand it, what you're telling me is that there are uh, six clay terracottas that, that remain intact from the original Michelangelo collection and those clay terracottas today reside where? In the Florence Michelangelo Home Museum. So they're in the museum. Yes. And uh, and when we look at these bronze castings, you said that there are a total of 12 per image? Yes, that's correct. So 12 per image, uh, will there be any more of them done in different sizes or is this the, the entire collection? This is the entire collection. After this, the molds will be destroyed. Fascinating. So, uh, when when we think about Michelangelo, uh, this is a contemporary show. Spectrum is a contemporary show. Scope is a contemporary show. Art Basel is a contemporary show. We're in Miami during Art Week, the largest gathering of contemporary artwork in the world, and yet we have Michelangelo sculpture at spectrum this year. How does that translate when we think about Michelangelo in, in somewhat of a classical perspective, how does that translate into the Michelangelo of the day back when these uh, terracottas were originally created? Well, of course, Michelangelo was a contemporary artist at one time in his life. And if you notice, the pieces are very interesting. Michelangelo worked out his muscular and his proportions in these clay sculptures. So most of them don't have heads and arms. So they have a very modern feel around them. They almost look like Rodin's or Brancusi's. And we've put them on very modern marble bases, and they have a decidedly marble feel about them. A modern feel, and they go very well with the, the most modern Picasso's as you could imagine. Yeah. So it's, it's, they're very timeless for that matter. Yes, they're 500 years old, but you wouldn't believe it looking at them. They look literally like uh, like a Matisse or something like that. Or a so I'm curious, when we talk about, when we talk about the terracottas, uh, am I to assume that the, that the sculpts that we are looking at today, the castings that we're looking at today, are in fact a complete rendition of what Michelangelo did, or are they in fact fragmented and some of the pieces have in fact been left to, uh, to decay? No, they're actually complete. He uh, worked out his proportions that he needed uh, doing the piece, and when he did commissioned a piece of marble, he had to know the size of the marble to project, and he also took these models 
to the uh, clients, like the church or what have you, and showed them what the finished piece would look like before he started work. And so he he created them in t these size sculptures were created in terracotta for really for what purpose? As a finished product or as a study for something further? They're done for studies for something further. So these, if you think about it, and I always find this so interesting from a collector's standpoint, because I was a collector long before I got involved in the art world, when you think about uh, what was going through the artist's mind, the inception or the inspiration of the work was actually done in the study with the studies, not in the finished work, but in fact his inspiration, his passion, uh, the inception of the creation of the masterworks were actually done in the studies, and that's what we're looking at. That's correct. Uh, you uh, cutting a piece of marble uh, six feet tall would require years, so he wanted to work out all the proportions, all the musculature, and the composition long before he started chopping marble. Marble is a very unforgiving medium. Clay is a forgiving medium. And and. If I could now, I want to migrate just from just for a moment from the Picasso, from the Michelangelo collection into some of the other work that's being featured by Old Town Gallery here at Spectrum 2013 in Miami. Uh, I noticed that that we have Chagall's and Picasso's on exhibit. Are there other artists also that have been brought from uh, the Utah Gallery? Yes, we have Rembrandt, we have Renoir, uh, we have uh, 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 Matisse, and people like that. So, in other words, this is all museum quality work. Yes, it is. All right. Well, we are here at Spectrum Miami 2013. Uh, I'm here with Bruce Duncan, and this is the Michelangelo Collection. Thanks for joining us.